So we're right in the middle of a headlock. And from here you can train guard passing, you can train chokes, you can train everything. So from here. So it's a 50-50 position. So right away everything I do will affect him and make his life worse. And everything he does will make my, my life worse right away. So what I try to do, look, first thing is I'm going to try to put my neck up. If I, my neck is bent and I push straight up, then I will get a spine injury. So I want to put my chin forward. So now push me down, please. Jeroen, it's already a little bit harder, yes? And I'm from here. Uh, Jeroen will also push his head up. Yeah? And I'm fighting his full neck muscle. So what I try to do is roll my hand inside, see? And close my elbow rather before he engages his neck. And I'm from here. I'm going to make a spin uh, 45 degrees. I'm going to put my elbow in the middle, see? Walk out. And just like with a windshield wiper, my leg is up 45 degrees. See, then from here, I want to start walking in. And here's a bunch of options, see? So one of the things that could happen, if, if you run the side to keep his knee on the floor, actually the best option, so I can keep walking in. He go for his far hip. Maybe let's go, maybe he doesn't. See, once I have his far hip, and I pull the hip back in, and I pull my elbow in, so now I'm wringing him out like a towel. Head goes the one way, the hip goes the other side. And I can pull with a shin strap his head to the other side. And here I keep twisting. See? And he might tap for that. See, or he might decide to go with the, with the motion. And I prefer if I can get my knee inside and they can keep putting pressure. And eventually here he will tap. So go back, please. So that's the first one. <clears throat> the second one, I go for the same thing here. And but very likely, see what happens, is they start to wiper the leg also on this side. See here, it's fair for me to go for the hip. And if I do, see. Uh, your room can start to walk over me. This could result in a, a pass. So go back. So what I have to do here, when I go inside with my knee, I walk. Maybe I hang out a bit here. If it starts to walk closer, I go for the leg. See? And then from here, I start to walk in a circle, slowly. Catch the leg, and if I can, I will go for the cradle, get my both hands together. And here it's very important to always keep my head inside the hip. If I push my head too low, you can push it down and then he can fight and, and try to get back up again if he gets his neck over his head free. So I'm going to put my head inside his, the curve head of his hip, go up. Here I can make him suffer more by getting my hands together and stretch him out. So I'll make a, I'll make a separate video about the, the cradle alone. And then the third option is from here he gets my head. So I pause, same thing. I put my elbow inside, make the, the spin. If I push too hard from here, so there's always a chance, see? That here, your room will just go with the motion and spins out on the other side without my head, see? Or if I'm swapping, he can even do it with the head, which is even worse. Yeah. So that is not a good thing. So the best thing is always to go here and take it slow inside. A third variation that might happen is, is uh, when you're here, you can always have a choice to go with your hand inside for the leg. In, in case you hide it, you can't really access the hip. You can go for the underhook here on this side, see? And keep twisting, but in this case, I want to go in one more north south. To try to take my head here, I just roll the heart. Ready if I turn in, he yeah, is still going to grip on me and he can start squeezing. So, that is the. Everything, everything goes well, but then it starts to go bad ish. When it gets my head, see, I start to go in. So he starts to twist me. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to use my far hand to go inside the armpit on the other side. And then I'm going to still try to come on top. To twist him in, and when you don't twist me back, see, my hope is that he pushes too hard. I can use the momentum to go with him and then try to go on top. Now, whenever I'm here, if I do get on top, you don't can just twist with me again and squeeze, and then you just reset. Mm -hmm. This is the best option. So, I just here to think more about my structure and my neck and his structure. So, whenever I'm here, I'm going to try it with my hand, which is in the armpit, close to the elbow. Keep it away, turn him, please, here, and see, so I can keep his arm away and go back. At the same time, I'm going to switch my neck and start walking into a loop. Try to come on top, Jeroen. See, by twisting his head away, it's going to be harder for him to get up. Eventually, I might get up, or Jeroen will really over-exaggerate. See, I twist back, and get on top. And here, there's a very, very nice arm drag. If you do it in one motion, you can drag him out, see, and go for the turtle. So once again, the last one. In full speed, he turns in. See. I get for the arm, I have to go on top, Jeroen. I have to resist, he twists, whoop, I go with the flow, boom, he bounces back up, switch my legs, go on top, and this might be a drag. If he turns back, I get up, twist again. So it's like a whole game you can play there. Now, the middle game is the most interesting. If he presses me down, same thing, I go for the arm, 
I will switch in. And here I have the option of the choke. So whenever you get here, just the basic choke is you, you push your arm away, block it for a split second, get your hand inside the throat, push your elbow up and start squeezing here. Now this is a low level because the mo for a few reasons. First off, if you just go for the choke right away, see Arun can switch his head left and right, see? Put his shin on top and now it's a hard fight, which I will usually lose. So what I want to do here, I want to control his head, get, instead of the neck with the, with the top bar, I want to control the head. I'm going to get my hand inside, see one hand goes for the throat and one goes for the face. See, and now, see, try to twist your head, please, Arun. You cannot really do that. And if I start to squeeze now, see? I can crack his head like a coconut. Um, I usually have people tapping for this at the same time. So if I control his head and start to rotate inside, so try to resist this, it's going to be quite hard. Eventually, it's the gold bottom, the switch. And now you can use your full body to rotate the choke in and squeeze him. Final detail is when you're here, when you get turned inside and you go right away, he can grip fight me. So what I do here, I can use my knee to interfere with his arm a bit. I can use my top knee whenever he gets his head out to support my elbow. See, and third, see? The ideal moment to go is not when his hand is free. So I'm gonna block always, see? And I'm gonna, if I get here, I'm gonna rotate inside and, and, and uh, act as if I'm gonna do that sweep. Maybe I will do it. The reversal, he fights back. Okay, then I turn in again, he pulls the hand on the floor. I keep rotating in. Now, I might get on top and do the previous arm drag, but very often I will push back up and that is the moment you go for the choke. Because the moment he pulls, he cannot, Grip fight me, I go in, control the face, squeeze, rotate inside and tap him there.